Hi everyone, today I thought I would review the Pumpkin Bath Bomb from Lush, which is part of the Lush Halloween collection. So Lush say, serve yourself up a slab of sweet pumpkin pie dripping in spice and sauciness. It's even more satisfying in bath bomb form. Sweet, comforting vanilla absolute and spicy cinnamon evoke the rich, biscuity fragrance of home baking and stacked desserts, ensuring that you feel toasty from top to toe. A soak with this pumpkin shaped bath bomb is more satisfying than a belly full of pudding. So the ingredients in this product are pimento berry oil and vanilla absolute. The pimento berry oil is sweet, warm and spicy and antioxidant rich. It helps with achy muscles. Vanilla absolute is sweet and has that vanilla aroma. It's antioxidant rich and it is moisturising also. Quickly into my review, I think that this is very similar to the fireside soap. It's spicy and warm and very, well. It came across as being very woody, especially when you smell it first. And just like the fireside soap, it's interesting and different. On the first sniff, I noticed that the bath bomb smelled quite strongly of lime. If you watched my Lush Halloween, Lush Halloween haul, you might remember me saying that. But when I put the bath bomb in the water, it changed from being that lime scent. It was a very fast fizzer. I think it fizzed anywhere from about 30 seconds to a minute. It was very quick, but if you don't like waiting around for your bath bomb to finish fizzing, then this will be a nice one for you in that sense. And it has a very strong, spicy, warm aroma. And I didn't smell a lime scent when I used it. I don't think it smells like pumpkin pie. To me, it kind of smells woody, like cloves and cinnamon, but not a sweet scent. It's not like kind of like Christmas spices in that scent. It's more woody spices if that makes sense. Like I said it reminds me of the fire soap so I imagine that this would go quite well with Lord of Misrule, the shower cream or if you wanted to use the this bath bomb and the Lord of Misrule bath bomb together. I found that it wasn't a very moisturizing bath bomb but I did notice that it was very warming and I definitely did feel very relaxed so it's definitely one for cold tiring days. So basically in conclusion I might buy a couple more cocktails but I'm not running back to the store thinking I have to have more and if I wasn't able to get my hands on any more I wouldn't really miss it that much. Would I recommend it? Yes if you like spicy kind of warm woody scents. If that's your thing or if those are the scents that you really like then yeah definitely. But if you don't then no I don't recommend it. If you're kind of like me then maybe not. I do like spicy woody scents but I like to have something else there with it to give it a bit more layers and stuff which is why I like to use things in cocktails or with other products. Other products that I can relate this to is the fireside soap as I've said about a million times in this video. Magic of Christmas, reusable blah blah blah, sparkly pumpkin, Lord of Misrule, new shampoo bar, experimenter, bath bomb, soak and float, shampoo bar, exhale, perfume, smell of freedom, fire tree perfume and the rough with the smooth body scrub which is the same scent as Lord of Misrule anyway so. So yeah that is my review for this product. I hope you enjoyed it and found it useful. If you have any questions or comments or anything please leave them down below and I'll be happy to get back to you as soon as I can. Subscribe if you want to see more and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching, take care, stay fabulous and I'll see you next time. Bye!